द न्यू क्लासिकल डिपेंडेंस मॉडल बेटा अब हम इसी डिपेंडेंस थ्योरी को वेगोन टू एक्सटेंड दिस फर्दर सो द न्यू क्लासिकल डिपेंडेंस मॉडल बेसिकली गोज अहेड एंड सेज द फॉलोइंग पहले एक बार समझ लो फिर मैं आपको आगे का एक्सप्लेन करूंगी इट सेज देयर इज अ सेंटर आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द कोर एंड देयर इज अ पेरिफेरी सेंटर किसी भी जगह का मेन होता है ना सो द सेंटर कंसिस्ट ऑफ द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज आर कॉल्ड एज द सेंटर एंड द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज आर कॉल्ड एज पेरिफेरी ठीक है सो डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज आर कॉल्ड एज द सेंटर डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज आर कॉल्ड एज द पेरिफेरी Now what this is going ahead and saying is that ये जो पेरीफेरी है ना यहां पर लोग जो होते हैं the people are very poor, they are underdeveloped, right? And here in the center people are developed, of course they are rich. Now within this periphery there will be some elite group, कुछ अमीर लोग होंगे right which will go ahead and which will benefit from the center right also there will be a link between center and periphery through some organizations like imf world bank etc but these organizations they will favor center और कोर एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ पेरीफेरी माने वो पेरीफेरी के लिए कुछ नहीं करेंगे वो सब कुछ इसके लिए करेंगे एंड दीज एलीट ग्रुप दे विल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस फेवरिज्म दे विल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस फेवरिज्म क्योंकि सिर्फ एक छोटा सा ग्रुप अमीर होता जाएगा और बाकी लोग गरीब रह जाएंगे दादा पीपल विल बी पुअर इन दिस पेरीफेरी इज दिस क्लियर ठीक है अब लेट्स ट्राई टू रीड दिस आउट a model whose main proposition is that under development exist in the developing countries because of continuing continuing exploitative economic political cultural policies of former colonial rulers towards less developed countries to kya bol rahe hain ki jo ye ameer hain jo ye center hai jo ye core hai ये बहुत ज्यादा एक्सप्लोइटेटिव है नेचर में दे आर एक्सप्लोइटिंग द अंडर डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज राइट एंड बिकॉज दे आर एक्सप्लोइटिंग दे क्योंकि वो उनको एक्सप्लोइट कर रहा है हर तरीके से चाहे इकोनॉमिकली चाहे पॉलिटिकली चाहे कल्चरली बिकॉज द पेरिफेरी इज गेटिंग एक्सप्लोइटेड बाय द कोर द अंडर डेवलप इज गेटिंग एक्सप्लोइटेड बाय द डेवलप That is why what we see is that the underdeveloped will remain underdeveloped. वो कभी डेवलप हो ही नहीं पाएगा क्योंकि वो हमेशा एक्सप्लॉय होता रहेगा इट विल रिमेन अंडर डेवलप एग्जिस्टेंस एंड कंटिन्यूंस ऑफ अंडर डेवलपमेंट प्राइमरली टू द हिस्टोरिकल एवोल्यूशन ऑफ हाईली अनइक्वल इंटरनेशनल कैपिटलिस्ट सिस्टम ऑफ रिच कंट्री पुअर कंट्री रिलेशनशिप तो अब क्या बोल रहे हैं कि जो रिलेशनशिप हिस्ट्री में डिफाइन हो गया ना कि रिच कंट्री कि इतनी पावर इतनी डोमिनेंस और पुअर कंट्री की कोई पावर नहीं कोई डोमिनेंस नहीं तो जो हिस्ट्री में द वे दैट हिस्ट्री हैज डिफाइंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द रिच एंड द पुअर गिविंग मोर पावर टू द रिच गिविंग मोर डोमिनेशन टू द रिच एंड एक्सप्लोइटिंग द पुअर द वे दिस रिलेशनशिप हैज बीन डिफाइंड जिस तरीके से ये हिस्टोरिकल रिलेशनशिप डिफाइन हो गया है this ensures that there is existence and continuance of under development iski wajah se under development continue kar raha hai due to this under development is continuing is this making sense so due to existence of the historical relationship jo wo historical relationship hai jo define kar diya gaya hai jo ek unequal relationship hai jisme rich country ko zyada power di gayi hai aur poor country ko kam power di gayi hai because of the way the historical relationship has been defined which is unequal in nature it is therefore leading to the continuance of under development iski wajah se poor country hamesha under developed hi rahegi continue karegi under developed rehna 
Now, but these two terms have been defined. The center, it is in the dependence theory, economically developed world is called center or core. In the dependence theory, the developing country is called as the periphery. So, the countries are developing countries, they are periphery. And the center is developed countries. Center and periphery render attempt by poor country to be self-reliant, difficult and sometimes even possible. Now, in this case, what is happening? The poor country is not self-reliant, it is not self-reliant. Now, read it further. Bita. Certain groups in the developing countries, including landlord, entrepreneur, military ruler, merchant, enjoy high income, social status and political power. So, I have told you here that in this periphery, in the, in the developing country, there are certain elite group. Elite group means there are some people who are There are some people who are rich. There are some people who enjoy high income, who enjoy social status, who enjoy political power, right? Like landlords. Like entrepreneurs, like military ruler, like merchants, etc. Directly and indirectly, they serve and rewarded by the international special groups. So, now what is happening is that this is the elite group. This indirectly in logo ko serve karta hai. Indirectly in logo ka knocker hai. Haan? Aur in logo se hi paisa kamata hai. In logo se hi isko reward bhi milta hai. So the elite group directly or indirectly, it is dominated by and dependent on the international special interest power groups, MNCs, IMF, World Bank, etc. Which are tied by the funding to the wealthy capitalist countries. So now what happened? This is the core. This is the periphery. This is the elite group. Elite group dependent is strong organizations ke saath unhi ki seva karta hai aur unhi se paisa bhi leta hai it helps them it goes ahead and it is dependent on that uh, on the international organizations it serves the international organizations and earns from this so international organizations like imf world bank big mncs etc and this international organization it is funded by the center. Unko paisa center de rahe. So indirectly this elite group is helping the center. Okay. There is no real effort done to uplift the poor countries. Or na ye elite group chata hai, na ye, uh, neither these big organizations, neither the center. No one wants to uplift the periphery countries. No one wants to do any real effort to uplift the periphery countries. A large part of the world's uh, developing world continuing poverty to the existence and policies of the industrial capitalist countries and their extension in the form of small powerful elite. So, now the majority of the world, the developing country, is poor because it is being exploited by the capitalist of the world. It is being exploited by their own elite power that is sitting in their country. Now, beta, we have defined something which is called as comrader groups. Comrader, uh, comrader groups. Okay? These local elites who act as front for foreign investors are called as comrader groups. So, mane ye jo hai kuch log jo madad kar rahe hai unki. Rahe yaha rahe hai. Rahe developing countries mein rahe hai, but Bahar ke logo se paisa earn kar rahe aur unhi ki taraf hai. These elite groups, they are called as comparators. Right? Okay, now where were we? Chik. Under development is thus seen as an externally induced phenomena in contrast to linear stage and structural change. So, beta, abhi tak, when we were studying Harrod Domer model, when we were studying the solo model, usme hum kya bolte the? Ki development is related to savings rate. Development is related to uh, capital accumulation, to capital output ratio. Hai na? But is theory ke hisab se, development internal factors se affect nahi ho hai. Development is not getting affected uh, due to internal factors. Rather, development is getting affected due to external factors. And what are those external factors? 
those external factors are these jo bahar ke countries center core periphery ko exploit kar raha hai right so this is a completely different theory unlike the case where development was affected by internal factors like savings rate investment rate capital output ratio like in solo model had a domer model ya lewis model here we are saying development is external phenomena bahar ki exploitation ki wajah se jo developing countries hain they are not able to develop revolutionary uh, struggle major restructuring of whole capitalist system is required so if we want the developing countries to develop we will have to restructure the economies and we will have to bring revolution kuch bahut alag karna padega warna hamesha center jo hai wo periphery ko exploit karta hi rahega according to don santos dependence causes countries to be both backward and exploited ऑफ कोर्स जब तक आप दूसरे कंट्री पे डिपेंडेंट हो आप हमेशा ही बैकवर्ड रहोगे और हमेशा उनसे एक्सप्लॉयट होते रहोगे सो देर विल बी डिपेंडेंस एंड डोमिनेंस राइट डिपेंडेंसी बेस्ड ऑन इंटरनेशनल डिविजन ऑफ लेबर ठीक है सो वॉट दिस इज सेंग इज दैट डिपेंडेंसी इज बेस्ड ऑन द डिविजन ऑफ लेबर कि कौन सा लेबर किस तरीके का कहां पर है स्किल्ड लेबर कहां पे है अनस्किल्ड लेबर कहां पे है and basically this division of labor determines how the growth will take place in center and periphery right so it allows industrial development in some countries and restricts development in the other countries ek aur important theory hai yahan pe so it says that and you will study in the in the coming part it says that a lot of times the people who are making the education system jinki hum theories padhte hain ye sari they are also studying from universities like howard Cam cambridge like good universities outside universities but they are also studying in the developed world universities na so their mindset their process of thinking will also be uh biased will not be biased actually the way that they think it will be डेवलप्ड कंट्री ओरिएंटेड वो भी डेवलप्ड कंट्री के तरीके से ही सोचेंगे एंड देर फोर द थ्योरीज दैट आर बिल्ड मे नॉट होल्ड कंप्लीटली फॉर द अंडर डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज बिकॉज इट इज नॉट बींग मेड बाई द एजुकेशन एजुकेशनलिस्ट ऑफ द डेवलपिंग कंट्री वो तो वो ही लोग बना रहे हैं जो डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज में दे आर सिटिंग एंड दे आर स्टडिंग राइट दैट इज अनदर थिंग विच यू शुड बी कीपिंग इन ओके बेटा थैंक यू